everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves. Yes, the channel name has officially been changed. No more are we Nicole Loves Nails around here. It's just Nicole Loves from now on. So, welcome to the new channel. How is everyone doing? So it is currently <laughs> December 12th and I have the newest collection from China Glaze to share with you all. This is the China Glaze Valentine's Day collection for 2024. I can't even remember the last time China Glaze had a Valentine's Day collection. Before we get into today's video, I got a couple of things to mention. The first being, in case you have not been paying attention. Uh, for the past few months, I have been putting up a lot more non-nail polish content. I have been wanting to do that for quite a while. I honestly got the kick in the butt from you all, especially folks in the live streams as well as my channel members, to really, you know, give it a try. So yeah, I wanted to commit to the whole posting of, you know, non-nail polish content as well. So instead of the channel being, you know, definitely all about nail polish, it's now gonna be Nicole Loves and essentially I'll just be posting whatever I want. Now I do what I want. There still will be some nail polish content so you don't have to like panic unsubscribe. There's still gonna be some nail polish content. I will still have my blog, NicoleLovesNails.com. I also have a blog coming up that'll be just NicoleLoves.com and on that blog I'll be sharing, you know, some non-nail polish things. It is not yet up and running. I want to have a couple of posts on it before I, you know, set it to being live. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all will join me for, you know, the new phase of this channel as well as like all of my social media content as well. If you are new around here, hi, in case you couldn't tell, my name is Nicole. Welcome to the channel. I upload new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I also go live every single Sunday. If in fact you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Just... <laughs> I know this is this is early like we're not even in 2024 yet and already we have a Valentine's Day collection I don't know how I feel about that honestly. So this collection is called love and kisses I did purchase this collection I have not yet seen it in too many places as of yet But I will have links in the description box some of them are affiliate links to places where China glaze is sold I anticipate once you know 2024 actually gets here There will be more places selling it as always down in the description box I will have links to where you can purchase these polishes links to the China Glaze social media pages, my social media pages, as well a link to my blog post on NicoleLovesNails.com where I host all of my swatch photos as well as provide a written review. And of course, timestamps are down there as well. Let's just get into this video. Alrighty, starting with what I think is the least interesting all the way up to the most interesting, we have Sweet Cheeks. This is just your basic pastel baby pink cream shade. I honestly always expect the worst formulations out of colors this light. However, Sweet Cheeks had a pretty nice formula. This is one of those colors where you do not want to overwork it. The least amount of brush strokes you can do, i.e. not what I'm doing here in the live swatch, the better off you'll be as far as the final outlook goes. This one on the first coat is a little bit streaky, but generally what I expect from colors this light, it self levels and applies pretty nicely. When I was doing my full hand swatches, I did find myself floating my coats on. I don't know why, but I just tend to find colors this light, they just look better when I float my coats on. My photo shows sweet cheeks in three coats plus glossy top coat. I will call this one a two to three coater depending on application as well as personal preference. If you are better than I am at applying these lighter shades, you probably can get this one opaque in two. If you're like me and a chronic polish overworker, you're going to want to do three coats. Next up, we have XOXO, which I'll describe as a bright neon pink bubblegum cream. This is pink. I freaking love colors like this so much. This is the first of two neons in this release. Formula wise, this one was also really good. It was a little bit chalky in comparison to the other neon in this release. It didn't self level quite as quickly as I would have wanted, but it did end up self leveling. And since this one is a neon, it is not photographing quite as brightly as it was for me in person, but I feel like you, it is coming across very, very bright. So my photos show this one in two coats plus glossy top coat. I noticed when I was taking my photos that I had a couple of dark spots on my nails. It wasn't enough to get me to want to add a third coat but you know, I'll call it a two to three coater depending on personal preference. This does dry down fairly flat, so you will definitely want top coat to give it a nice glossy finish. Super easy removal, no issues with staining. 
And now we have Read My Lips, which is a really, really, really bright neon red cream. I was so shocked, surprised, gagged. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. All of the things when I started swatching this polish. I don't recall ever trying a neon red that I liked as much as I like this one. Like it is ridiculously bright and it does glow under black light as well. Everything about this polish, I give a 10 out of 10. Like it was really phenomenal because this is a neon it is not photographing coming up on camera or anything like that nearly as bright as it does in person like it's really really beautiful this does seem to be a slightly warmer toned red I feel like my hands came across a little bit lobstery with this one but it wasn't the kind of lobstery that I noticed in person it was mainly just you know photographing it so that is read my lips in two coats plus glossy top coat this is a very pigmented polish if red polishes have a tendency to stain you I think this one is definitely going to be a stainer. I did end up having to scrub the red off of my fingers for a little while, but it all came off with acetone. Next up, we have Too Hot to Handle, which I'll just describe as a red metallic. This is very much the type of polish that I would expect from a Valentine's Day release. It comes across as a more warm toned red. The shimmer in here is either red or orange, and the shimmer I find just kind of warms this one up a lot. The photos definitely had a case of lobster hands, but I didn't find that to be as big of an issue to my eye in person. Really like this one a lot. The shimmer does not show brush strokes at all, and I feel like the shimmer is also kind of more subtle, so it's not not crazy in your face like I personally prefer but I do still think it's very pretty. This was a lot more opaque than I expected it to be. I really thought it was going to build up to get the most opacity but I really liked coverage for me in two coats. I think if you have shorter nails than me and going for one thicker coat you can definitely get away with just one coat for this one. Nothing in here is going to dry down textured. Removal will be very easy and again I think this is another potential stainer so make sure to wear base coat. And now we're up to the glitters. This first one is called Eat Your Heart Out, and this is a red jelly base with red metallic micro glitter. Eat Your Heart Out had a really nice formula. The base did not feel overly thick or thin, and I had no application issues. I did a little happy dance when I saw we had two glitters in this release. This is a pretty pigmented jelly polish. I did not expect to be able to get like nice even coverage in two coats, but my full hand swatches do show this one in two coats. The glitters are super, super, super duper tiny, and I was really shocked at how top coat hungry they are. I use one coat of the Salon Perfect Glitter Gloss and then one coat of the Salon Perfect Plumping Gel Top Coat, and my nails still looked a little bit textured, I noticed in my photos. So this one's definitely gonna take quite a few layers of top coat to get everything nice and smooth. This polish reminds me a lot of China Glaze's Ruby Pumps. I'll have a comparison at the end of the video because I was kind of curious about the two. Much like the other reds in this release, I definitely think this is another potential stainer. I also would not suggest scrubbing this polish off. Definitely use the soak off method. Do not scrub this one off. It will be a mess. This next polish is the topper of the release. It's called Ruler of Hearts. It is a clear base topper with pink and red heart shaped glitters. This polish without a doubt was the one that I was most excited for and also the one I was most concerned about. The formula on this polish was pretty good. The base feels like it's very thick because there's a lot of glitter in this polish, but I find the base itself is on the thinner side, but the glitters make it feel more uh, thick. As you're seeing from my application, this is not really the type of topper that you can just brush onto your nails. While I did find that the heart came out reasonably easily. I just feel like because you can't brush this on, you really kind of have to do a glitter placement or just kind of zhuzh your brush around to get the glitters where you want them to be. So that is what I'm showing here in the application. If you try to get enough stars on your brush to brush this one on, I found that you have to put like a lot of the base onto your nail and you'll get bubbles in your nail, which is what happened to me in my full hand swatches. I feel like this was an interesting attempt at a topper. I feel like it would have been executed better. There were more variety in different types of glitters in this one, like this various sizes, and these big hearts were kind of scattered amongst the rest. I feel like just these big hearts being the only glitter in the polish that you kind of have to do glitter placement with these or else it kind of looks a little funny because sometimes when you dip your brush in, you might only get one heart and other times you might get 10. I'm not disappointed by this polish, but I feel like it could have been executed a lot better. I'm hoping this next shot here is somewhat helpful to show you all how the hearts come out of the bottle. So this time I got two with one stuck to the side. I'm gonna dip it back in, do a quick swirl. 
and now like I've got more hearts and then a couple like stuck to the side. That's kind of how these come out and you kind of like you get a good amount out without having to do too much. But this is definitely like a glitter placement kind of polish and not just painting your nails kind of polish. Glitters this size will definitely give you some trouble upon removal. Use the soak off method or peel off base coat or you're going to be very upset with yourself. It's time for some comparisons. So first up, immediately when I saw Eat Your Heart Out, I immediately thought of Ruby Pumps, which is this polish right here. As you can see, they are not exactly the same. There is some differences. I feel like because this is on a clear swatch wheel, Eat Your Heart Out is looking very patchy. I did not find it to be patchy like on my natural nail. And then here is Ruby Pumps. And then over here I have Get Your Glitter On, which I think was last year's winter collection. So yeah, I didn't have any China Glaze glitters that I thought were comparable enough to this. All of my China Glaze glitters were either too orangey or didn't have a red jelly base. And now for comparisons, for we have Read Your Lips over here, followed by China Glaze A Sin. This was a limited edition polish that was exclusive to their website, I think last year maybe. It is going to be incredibly difficult to find. Over here we have Flor de Amour from the Eco Glaze line, and then over here we have Flamboyant. These are all super bright reds. I found A Sin is the least neon-y of the bunch. It's still a very vibrant red, but on camera next to these other neon reds, it's looking a little bit darker. I think these are all bright enough that you probably, if you have one of these other ones, you don't need this one, but these all had really nice formulas. I think out of the bunch, the formula I didn't like the most was Flor de Amor. It was a little bit more watery, and I ended up doing three coats of that one and two coats of all the others. Okay, next up for the red shimmers, we have Too Hot to Handle over here. I was very surprised that I actually did not have a ton of red shimmers from China Glaze, so I pulled out Deadly Desire over here, and then Taken for Pomegranate over here. Taken for Pomegranate is from the Everglaze line, which has been discontinued. And as you can see, they are not um, super comparable, honestly. The shade of red is definitely different. Next up is the Neon Pink, which is XOXO. I immediately was wondering how this one was going to compare to Will I Be a Cup or Cone from the Summer Collection from this year, and then one of my go-to China Glazes, Glow with the Flow. That is probably one of my most used Neon Pinks from China Glaze. To be honest, the formula is not the best ever. Ever, but I've had it for years and I absolutely love it. XOXO is a little bit brighter than Will That Be A Cup or Cone. They are definitely not dupes. I can clearly see a difference in person. I do think if you're trying to keep your collection on the smaller side, if you have Will That Be A Cup or Cone, you likely do not need XOXO. And then finally, we have the Sweet Cheeks comparison. So here is Sweet Cheeks right there. So over here, I have Totally Taffy from the recent Willy Wonka collection. And then next to that, I have Here for the Candy, which was the it was either the summer or the spring collection from this year. And then over here we have Count Your Blossom, which was from the Eco Glaze line. So I did not have anything that was the exact same shade of light pink as this polish. So I tried to pull out things that were like close, but I didn't have anything that was exactly the same. And I did not own any glitters from China Glaze that had hearts in them. So I didn't pull anything out to compare this one to because I, I didn't see the point if I didn't have anything with hearts. I have been reviewing China Glaze nail polishes on this channel since 2022. 2022 was definitely a rough year to be a China Glaze fan. 2023, there weren't a lot of collections that really are standing out strongly in my mind that I would say, wow, that was amazing, fantastic. I think I like the color stories a lot more than like the polishes themselves, if that makes sense. But the new factor of China Glaze having a Valentine's Day collection from a brand that does not normally release the Valentine's Day collections, I was really, really, really excited. <laughs> really excited. I did not know what to expect. All I knew was I love pink. I saw glitter and like, shut up and take my money. My money was gone. That's basically what was going on there. Overall, I'm really happy with this collection. I have not been this happy with the China Glaze collection in a very long time. Currently, what's standing out in my mind to a collection that like I absolutely love from China Glaze was the Jurassic World collection. I thought that was really, really fun and unique. And like collections like that are why I fell in love with China Glaze to begin with. And I feel like this collection having a whole variety of finishes, a whole lot of glitter, I was really, really happy with it. Like the only thing I feel like is missing from this Valentine's Day collection is gold. I want to know what a gold. I want the gold. But 
Y'all know how I feel about gold. I love gold. I always feel like gold can be added to pretty much anything, but like I was really happy with this collection. Ruler of All Hearts was definitely the polish that I was most looking forward to from this collection, as well as being very concerned. I know I just had a video talking smack about the Orly Pop Topper with the, the triangle glares, how much I hated it. So like I was really scared that 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 this this china glaze topper was going to be like that orly polish as i showed in the live swatch it is one of those polishes where like you can't just like dip your brush in and just like stroke it onto it you have to just kind of zhuzh things around to where you want them to be that's not my favorite style of topper i think this one would have benefited from maybe having a mixture of large and smaller glitters in it kind of like how china glades old school glitter toppers were i think this i would have liked it a lot more if it was like that however i'm not mad at all at the topper at all like i just I feel like if I ever reach for it again, I'm probably gonna pair it with some smaller glitters just so I don't have just like some big old honking glitters and nothing else on the nail. But overall, I thought it was really, really fun. Also, what was very unexpected for me from this collection was the fact that we got two neon polishes. I don't know why, looking at them in the bottle, like I could see that they were very clearly bright, but I didn't realize how bright until I got them on my nails. This was a fantastic collection. I feel like this is an amazing way for China Glaze to start off the new year. I feel I feel like this is the first time in a long time I'm struggling with what to pick as a top pick from a China Glaze release. It's a neon pink. I'm gonna go with XOXO as my first top pick and then my second top pick is going to be Ruler of All Hearts. It's glitter. Y'all know I was gonna pick the glitter. And then my next top pick is gonna be Eat Your Heart Out, the red glitter. Then my honorable mention is gonna be Read My Lips. Like, I know it's four polishes from a six polish release, I know. But I just told y'all, I'm having a hard time deciding which was actually my, like, top pick. Yeah, this is just a really, really good collection, so I'm kind of struggling a little bit. So I am assuming that this collection is likely gonna start popping up in stores probably sometime in January. I don't feel like I ever see Valentine's Day stuff up until at least January. Um, but I did purchase these online from beautywest.com. So I'd love to know what everyone else saw of this release. Feel free to leave an angry comment that you are also upset how early Valentine's Day stuff is going up because, you know, Valentine's Day is in February. I guess capitalism. <laughs> Blame capitalism. I don't know. So I'd love to know what everyone else saw of this release. If you're planning on picking up, y'all know the drill. Let me know all of your thoughts. Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? I, I celebrate Valentine's Day in the sense that, like, it's a holiday that I acknowledge. We don't go all out or anything for Valentine's Day. They usually just like cook a meal we stay in which is basically what we do every day anyway before we end today's video i want to give a very special shout out to my channel members shenanigang thank you all so much for your love and support i truly appreciate it you guys are amazing and your names of course are all on the screen right now i saw these in my hand if you'd like to sign up for my channel memberships i have a link for that down in the description box but you know as always please do not feel pressured to sign up for channel memberships just you know like the video comment share subscribe all the things and seriously we are good so just thank you all so very much for watching today's video and i also love and appreciate every single one of you like seriously i am really appreciative of everyone who has watched some of the non-nail polish content that i've been doing lately it really does this mean so much to me i know like nearly all of you subscribed for you know nail polish related content and I just really appreciate those of you who have stuck around for the non-nail polish stuff, who've watched the non-nail polish stuff, those of you who come hang out on the live streams, like I really just do appreciate every single one of you. And I really do hope that like I say that enough that you all know how much I appreciate this community that we have here. And just that you all take time out of your day to, you know, listen to me talk, watch the cats run around the background. I really just do appreciate it a lot. And I just, thank you guys. This really thank you last one more thank you thank you all so very much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it i'll have a link in the description box to my china glaze playlist if you are a china glaze nail polish fan you know it's there if you want it have a wonderful week and i will see you all in the next one bye